Hello, this is Gio, and hey, I'm continuing to work on my 1979 JVC uh, Vidstar VCR player. And last time I got it all working, and you saw that, I uh, put some new belts on it. And But I do have a couple of more things to do before this thing is in perfect working order again. And one item is this switch right here. You can kind of see a lack of a switch. There's a switch right here that you can see, and there's another switch right here. So there is supposed to be a switch here, but apparently it broke at one time. So I'm going to be replacing that. Uh, but first, I'm going to be re dealing with the power source. And so I've turned it around here so you can see where the power source is. And it says AC in 120 volt uh, 60 Hertz uh, power supply and as you can see it doesn't really look like a standard plug so when I did uh, purchase this VCR from actually Goodwill it did not come with a plug and I didn't think it was going to be such of a big issue uh, but indeed it is I've been looking for a plug for this thing all over the place I ordered a couple that I thought would work but uh, no go you can kind of see uh, it almost looks like a Brazilian type of plug, and I uh, tried one of those, but it didn't work. You can see there's two smaller prongs here that's slightly shorter than this grounding prong here, and these uh, uh, the grounding prong is a little bit bigger than the smaller ones. So I can't find a plug anywhere. I've kind of did some bootlegging to get some power to test the machine, and it does work. But I do want to switch this out to a more standard adapter. And so I went ahead and ordered a more standard adapter and these are uh, this uh, this uh, male plug and here is very typical for computers uh, and electronics and uh, I do have a plug for this particular um, outlet. And here it is, you can see it's just a standard uh, computer uh, plug and I this would fit perfectly in and will work much better than just having no cord at all. So first things first, I have to open this up and get access to this. Now I've already opened it up. It is very tight in here, so the, the trouble will be trying to get this thing out of there, uh, uh, desolder it, and um, solder in this plug. So just let's take the top off first. And just the two. Gonna pop that off to make it easier. And it should just come right off. Just be careful not to break anything. And there you go. And you can see right there, it is extremely tight in there. And so um, the plug is actually below this little switch here. Um, but we're going to have to try to get in there as best we can, so I'm going to open up the bottom as well to make as much room as possible. So flip it over very cautiously, carefully. And on the bottom, there's six screws that I have to remove. So after the top and bottom are removed, you can just slide out these side panels, and I'm going to slide these out just so I don't damage them as I move things around. And then I'm going to remove this front plate, which has, uh, looks like one, two, three, four, maybe five, six screws. Do that next. that plate. So I propped it on the board so I can see a little bit different. I can't really uh, prop it on its front since the uh, little piano key controllers are in front. But uh, we're going to take off these four screws and see if this little plate here will remove fully.
Okay, there's one more screw over here. There's that. And now, and there we go. It is kind of loose. Now the problem is here, and I encountered this when I was dealing with this before, is you, there's not enough wire in here to give enough slack. But we're gonna flip it over and see what we can see on this side to see if we can actually get in there. Okay, as you can see, there's not a lot of room in here at all. There's the wires on the bottom, which are really preventing it from being seen. I don't want to break anything, so I'm going to just see if I could get enough slack here that I could at least pull it down a bit. Okay, so after looking at this for a little while, uh, I think at a bare minimum I have to get rid of this little cable. Uh, this little uh, cable to the uh, UHF um, plugs right there, and it looks like I just have to desolder two things here. And then I could remove that, and hopefully, after I do that, I can kind of rotate this down. Actually, to simplify things, I'm just going to snip these out. There seems to be enough room to resolder them in once I get them out. Okay, there's that. Okay, so next thing I think I have to loosen this UHF antenna cable here. Connect here, so unscrew this. I have to do this RF cable as well. This RF plug. And that's the plug right there that I just loosened up. And now these should pop out, okay. All right. Starting to move a little bit better. I have a little more slack. Okay, now, I think I might have made enough room that I can get these two screws out so this whole plate will be removed. It's a little tight, but I think I can get a screwdriver in there. And there's two screws. You have to be aware what they're connected to. There's just one more there, okay. And these are just grounding screws. But they also hold this plate down. See, there looks to be one more screw here. And there we go. I think it just popped out. Alright. And there we have it. It's out. Well that wasn't the easiest thing to get to, but it is out. And you can see there's two screws holding this uh, male portion uh, in place. And that should, I hope, be the same size screw distance so I can just insert this straight in. Now this does have more of an extension that goes through this hole here if you could see it. But I'm hoping, let's just test this out. Let's put this on the side and kind of stick this right here. And it does not go darn it. Oh, it might fit, hold on. Hmm. Dang it, it does not fit perfectly. But we will see. It might be able to... It might be okay once I get it in. We will try it. So first things first, let's get rid of these screws right here.
I don't really pull out as much, but I could desolder them on this side and then pull them out. Okay, so I snipped off the little heat shrink protectors, and I'm going to try to desolder these instead of just snip them off. Uh, I don't really want to replace this entire these entire wires, so uh, and there's not a lot of wire to work with, so I'm going to try to just desolder them at their connections. And there you have it, all three are removed. Here's a little grounding wire right there. So we'll just pull this out. There's the original plug. Now we're going to reinsert the new plug back in this hole. And it fits. I'm going to check to make sure the screw holes look like they line, and they do. So it should work out. I'm I think I'm going to actually temporarily put the screws back in to hold it in place. Okay, put the screws in. I think I could just leave them in there now, now that I have it in there. And I'll go ahead and prep these to be soldered. I'm just going to apply a little bit of solder to each one of these just to get them ready. So don't forget to put the shrink tubes on the wire before you actually solder. So once you solder, you won't be able to put them on. So we'll go ahead and, and then solder it on. Okay, so it's time to reassemble, but first I'm going to uh, kind of splice off a little bit of this UHS, UHF wire so I could resolder it. And then we want to use this, make sure we get the shrink tubing on. And then time for reassembly. Uh, it's going to be tight. Good. Okay, so here's for the final test. See if it works. Got the plug right here. 
Let's see, it's, it's off, so we'll go ahead and plug it in. Does it fit? There we go. Nice and tight, and we'll go see if it works. And then power on, cross your fingers. And yes, indeed, it has power. We have things seem to work. Okay, on. Let's go ahead and eject, stick in a tape, and see if it actually runs. I don't have it plugged into a TV right now, but we'll do that later. And play. And it seems to be playing okay. Let's stop, fast forward, indeed, reverse, I think it works, well there you have it, uh, next I'll work on the switch but that will be another video, I will see you next time, thanks, bye bye.